Exercises Medicine News Roundup. I'm Sarah Hodson, clinical exercise physiologist and the founder and CEO at LiveWell Exercise Clinic. As the race between variants and vaccines intensifies across Canada, the work of fitness and healthcare professionals to get Canadians exercising has never been more important. The role of exercise for prevention and treatment of chronic disease, mental health and COVID-19 is clear. Here are a few of the top stories that hit LiveWell's radar over the last month. Exercise directly tied to COVID-19 outcomes. One of the top Exercise is Medicine April stories confirmed that physical activity not only strengthens the immune system, but is directly correlated with COVID-19 outcomes. The study that was published in the British Medical Association Journal looked at 48,000 Californians who had COVID-19. Researchers at Kaiser Permanente cross-checked the exercise habits of those who had been diagnosed with COVID-19 and how active they were, dividing the groups into men and women, least active to most active, while also considering other known risk factors, age, smoking habits, history of cancer, diabetes, and other underlying health conditions. People in the least active group were hospitalized because of COVID at double the rate than the most active group and were two and a half times more likely to die. Kaiser is a leading organization in exercise as medicine and has included exercise as a vital sign in their EMR systems for more than 20 years. Researchers at McMaster uncover the pandemic paradox. Researchers coined this phrase to describe how Canadians want to improve their mental health by exercising, yet are too anxious to exercise. There were 1,600 people surveyed, and it was found that the respondents actually felt too anxious to exercise, even though exercise is known to reduce anxiety. Those surveyed felt more depressed and less motivated to exercise and actually reported higher levels of psychological stress and anxiety due to the pandemic. They also reported less activities on all levels, 20 minutes less per week of aerobic activity, 30 minutes less for strength, plus sedentary time was increased by 30 minutes. Those with the greatest decline in activity reported the worst mental health state. In addition to this data, it was also noted that people in a lower socioeconomic bracket had less time to exercise. And our final story this month, the federal government declines the Fitness Industry Council of Canada's Exercise as Medicine proposal. From January through April 2021, the Fitness Industry Council of Canada made direct efforts to have exercise included as a tax deduction. On April 19th, the government announced their budget without addressing this proposal. The FIC is launching the prescription to get active to strengthen partnerships with physicians and the fitness industry with the aim to get an additional 1.2 million Canadians active. Why is this important? Inactivity has a higher impact on mortality than smoking, obesity, and diabetes combined. 83% of Canadians are not moving enough, and sedentary behavior costs our healthcare system $10 billion annually. And if we add in obesity to those costs, it increases to $20 billion. Physical activity is the number one way to treat and manage most health concerns. Physicians and fitness professionals need to work together to make this program a success. Thank you for joining us this month. See you next month.